everything you wanted to know about Germantown, Maryland, right after this. Hi, I'm Kevin Grolick, a real estate agent with Compass located in Montgomery County, Maryland. And thank you for visiting the newest video in a series, Real Kevin. Well, today's video is everything you want to know about Germantown, Maryland. And I know Germantown pretty well considering I raised four kids in Germantown. So today I'm going to give you a few factoids about Germantown, Maryland, as well as eight things that you just got to know before you move here. While the cost of living is pretty high in Montgomery County, Maryland, Germantown is quite affordable and much less expensive than some of the surrounding areas like Potomac, Rockville, and Darnstown. Interesting factoid, Germantown is actually the third largest city in Maryland with approximately 91,000 residents. Now, growing up in Montgomery County, when I thought of Germantown as a kid, I thought of mostly farms and cows and pastures. It was pretty much a rural, sleepy town. But Germantown went through a major building boom between the mid-1980s up until today. So without further ado, let's jump into the eight things that you need to know about Germantown before you move here. Number one is housing. Germantown has a vast array of homes from condos, townhomes, and of course, single family homes. Once again, most of the construction in Germantown took place between the 1980s up until about the 2000s. So while there are older homes with larger lots, mostly what you're gonna find in Germantown are communities with amenities like swimming pools and tot lots and things like that. Once again, townhomes, condos, single families. As far as the price range of houses go, in Germantown you're gonna see basically everything starting from a low of about 200,000 up to maybe a high of a million or maybe slightly beyond a million. According to statistics from Bright MLS, the average home sale in Germantown in 2020 was $375,100. The average sales price for single family homes during this time was $583,300. And the average home sale for attached homes, meaning condos and townhomes, was $301,000. Number two on the must-know list, dining. I have to be honest with you, when it comes to dining, dining options are not nearly as plentiful in Germantown as they are in nearby Gaithersburg. However, there are some hidden gems that I'm gonna let you know about. Before I get to the hidden gems, there's also some big chain restaurants like the Green Turtle, Caraba's Italian Grill, as well as Red Robin. Now, let's talk about the hidden gems. The Royal Bagel Bakery in Germantown was actually founded in 1992 from residents who relocated to Montgomery County from Long Island, New York. So I've experienced many waits in line over the years getting in there for bagels and pastries on a Sunday morning. So Royal Bagel Bakery is one of the places you gotta check out. Also, you have the Dutch Amish market in Germantown as well, where you can find everything from baked goods, prepared foods, pastries, pies, you name it. You gotta check out the Dutch Amish market. The Woodside Deli. Originally, the Woodside Deli was found in Silver Spring, Maryland, and has been a staple in Montgomery County since probably the 1930s or 1940s. Now it resides in Germantown, so they have excellent breakfast as well as incredible <laughs> deli sandwiches for lunch and dinner. Then there's my personal favorite, Mi Rancho, which is an independent restaurant, and they have awesome fajitas and margaritas. So while there may not be the same variety as you can find in like Gaithersburg or Rockville, these are places you gotta check out. Number three, shopping. So while there's many options for shopping in Germantown, there's many of the big box retailers you're gonna find in the Milestone Center like Home Depot, Best Buys, Target, and Kohl's. One of the best things about Germantown is there's a Wegmans. It's the only one in Montgomery County, so definitely you wanna check out the Wegmans. You're not gonna find a lot of boutique stores in Germantown as you will in Gaithersburg or Rockville, but I'm sure you can find some if you really scour through. Number four, commuting. Admittedly, commuting can be a little bit more difficult to DC from Germantown. But one important fact to know is there's actually three entrances and exits to I-270 in Germantown. So while I-270, you know, during non-peak times can move along really fast, a good alternative to I-270 during peak times would be Great Seneca Highway. What I like about Great Seneca Highway is even during peak periods, it usually moves pretty well. I oftentimes take Great Seneca Highway down to Sam Ig Highway in Gaithersburg for a quick jump onto the ICC or to I-270. This way it bypasses a lot of the stops along I-270. Many people who live in Germantown commute to Gaithersburg or Rockville. 
and Great Seneca Highway is a great way to get there. Number five, public transportation. While there are no metro stops in Germantown, the closest stop is at the Shady Grove Metro in Rockville. And so depending upon when you're going and where you're coming from, you're looking at probably anything between 10 to maybe 25 or 30 minutes to get to the Shady Grove Metro. Many Germantown residents, though, who commute to D.C. use the Mark train. The Mark train will pick you up right at the Germantown train station and can take you all the way into Washington, D.C. at Union Station. Number six, businesses. There are many large employers in Germantown. Some of these are Hughes Communication, the Department of Energy, and Trexon, and Universata. It should also be noted that there's a Montgomery College campus in Germantown. Number seven things you need to know before you move to Germantown is hospitals. While there are many excellent hospitals in Montgomery County and the surrounding DC area, Germantown is home to the brand new state-of-the-art Holy Cross Hospital campus in Germantown. It's conveniently located right off of I-270 on Observation Drive. The number eight thing you need to know recreation and culture. Germantown is awesome for both indoor and outdoor recreation. Let me start with some of my favorites that I mentioned in this previous video. I love Butler's Orchard. This is a working farm where you can actually go to pick berries and apples. During the uh, fall, we pick pumpkins and then harvest live Christmas trees during the winter. Beyond just picking berries and produce, they also have a really awesome general store with baked goods as well as preservatives and things like that. So you definitely want to check out Butler's Orchard. The Maryland Soccer Plex. Now, if you have kids and they're competitive in sports, you're definitely going to be spending a lot of time there. The Maryland Soccer Plex has 21 natural grass fields, three artificial turf fields, and eight indoor convertible basketball and volleyball courts. In the park, there's also two mini golf courses, a splash park, a driving range, an archery course, community garden, model boat pond, bike park, tennis center, and swim center. All this can be found at the Maryland Soccer Plex. If culture is what you're looking for, you gotta check out the Black Rock Center in the town center of Germantown. The Black Rock Center is the foremost venue for visual and performing arts in Montgomery County, Maryland. So those are the eight things that you just need to know about Germantown before you actually move here. But before we end, I'm gonna give you one interesting factoid. Are you familiar with the John Denver song, Country Roads? Country Road, take me home to the place I belong. This song was actually written for John Denver by two DC musicians. The song was actually inspired by Klopper Road, which is a long and winding road between Gaithersburg and Germantown. The story goes they were on their way to a family reunion taking this winding road and came up with the inspiration to Country Roads. The song was offered to Denver and he played it live for the very first time at the cellar door in Washington, D.C. on December 30th, 1970. It should also be noted that this was John Denver's first platinum single. So there you go. Pretty interesting, huh? I don't even think I knew that. Actually, I didn't know that, um, but I do now. What are your thoughts? Do you have any questions? Is there anything you'd like to know? Is there anything I left out about Germantown, Maryland? If so, place a comment below. Hey, thanks once again for visiting my latest video in a series, Real Kevin. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, place a comment, share my video, oh yeah, and hit that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks once again for checking me out. See you next Wednesday.